So hey guys, um, I wanted to make a video of uh, how to upgrade the Acer Swift 1. Um, the model that I have is the um, SF113-31P1NX. Um, so this one has the French bilingual keyboard. That's the only difference. French bilingual keyboard would look something along this line. The problem is, I wish my shift was this big, one key, but it's not. It's a tiny bit split into two because, yeah, it's Canada and it's a French bilingual keyboard. That's the reason. But I wanted to show you guys how to open up the laptop because I saw a lot of people posting videos, but they did not show you guys how to open up the laptop and put in the SSD because you this comes with 64 gigs of eMMC storage, which is pretty much worthless because Windows eats up probably around like 45 gigs of that so you're left with like 17 15 gigs of uh, internal storage which is pretty pathetic let's be honest so you can upgrade this to uh, to a 256 gig m.2 ssd uh, that you can put this that you can put inside this i do not know if you are able to put in 512 or higher higher storage because i I don't know what's the upper limit or I have not seen other people do it. What I have seen on YouTube is people putting in 256 gigs and it works perfectly. The BIOS just reads it automatically and you just have to clone your operating system from the eMMC onto the SSD. So I've opened up the screws. Uh, there's nine different screws. Um, I used this toolbox that I got from Amazon Canada. Uh, it's 10 bucks. Uh, from Amazon Canada and it has everything it has a plastic pry tool and it has the, the one that I will be using is the T6 star uh, torque screw that's the one you should be using so I have it on here so that's the one I use to open up the nine screws be careful all nine screws are different lengths so arrange them exactly in the same position that they would be coming out so this is different from this that that is different from this all of them are different lengths they're the same screw but they're different lengths. So you gotta be careful about that. Now opening this up is a little bit tricky. Um, it's, let me just move the screws out of the way. Yeah, so opening this up is a bit tricky. Uh, I've read people online saying uh, they've removed the screws, but uh, they're scared to open it up because it's on really tight. So it is on really tight. So you gotta like, yeah, it's gonna be hard. I've done this once. It's a little harder because I have the camera in the way. Yeah, see? So once you get that up, you just keep. Don't don't be afraid. You won't be breaking it. It is aluminum. The worst you can do is bend it. Which you don't want to do, I get it, but you have to apply a little bit of pressure. Otherwise it will not come out easily it is a tough little cookie so, oh my god okay okay so I'm doing this for you, your, you guys. Because <laughs> I know how hard it is to imagine uh, when somebody has already opened up everything and then you are like, whoa, I'm not able to do that. How did that guy open it? So I want to be that guy who showed you guys how to do it. And hopefully not break my laptop in the process. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay, so 
you got all the edges up I have yet to get the bottom ones up that's it Whew. Whew. now that's come off so it's, it's a bit of a work but don't be scared you will not be breaking anything because there is absolutely nothing here to break you are using a plastic pry tool so you will not be shorting anything do not use a metal pry tool because it will come in contact with other other stuff so when you're using a plastic pry tool you are pretty much safe so you will be opening up like this and it pops off do not be scared guys put a little bit of pressure on it so you'll open it up and so the first thing that you would notice is it can be upgraded i've seen videos on youtube uh, but just make sure that your model is compatible. Mine is, as I mentioned, the SF11331P1NX. It is a Canadian version, the backlit version, um, with the French bilingual keyboard. So just be sure that yours can be upgraded. So it does have a SATA port here. It is not a PCIe Express. That is not, I mean, that's fine. It can be upgraded. So you can use the plastic pry tool to open the ribbon. And when you open the ribbon, you can put in your M.2 SSD here. Uh, it has to be a 2280, the 80 meaning it has to be the 8 centimeter version. So only those work. Um, uh, 80 centimeter, 80 millimeter, sorry, 80 centimeter, what am I saying? The 80 millimeter version. So those work here and it has a mounting screw here. So it will automatically just, you can just take out the screw and just put it in. And the BIOS should automatically read it. So it is upgradable, guys. You guys don't void the warranty by, let me just put the ribbon cable back really safely. Okay, so you guys don't void the warranty by removing the back panel because there is no stickers or anything that you are tearing to open this up. Nobody would know if you have actually opened this. I am not too sure if you would void the, void the warranty by placing the SSD in. Different manufacturers have different um, warranty rules. So he, see here, there are some stickers on this, these things that you're not supposed to remove. So I'm guessing you're not supposed to mess with those, then you void your warranty. Over in this uh, ribbon cable area, there was no such thing. So I'm guessing you don't necessarily void your warranty by just um, opening this up and putting your SSD in and cloning your EMMC uh, operating system onto the SSD. It would make this machine ooh, so much better and value for money because an SSD of 256 would cost like $100 Canadian or something, $100, $120. And this machine would be so much faster, not to mention that it is not, uh, not to say that it's not as quick. It is, it is quick. Um, it can handle 4K videos and daily productivity, but it is, it does get a little bit slow when it's multitasking. So if you're able to put in an M.2 SSD on this, it would be so much faster. So I've ordered my uh, Western Digital uh, Blue 256 uh, gigabit uh, of storage on this, and I would be up uploading a video of how to do that as well. But I just, I just wanted you guys to see how to open up the um, laptop and how to put that in. So... See you guys later.